the death knell from Flashpoint, it's the 1-6 health figures we are going to check today. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. So Flashpoint give us here two versions of the Deathstroke. Here on the left we have the standard one, on the right we got the Nightmare version that comes together with the head sculpt. Both of them look pretty good at the first sight, but let's see what we got inside. As for accessories, they both come with the two swords, but the Nightmare version does come with the extra sniper rifle. And with that sniper rifle comes as well this kind of accessory that then you will need to fit with the bullets, with that uh, string with bullets. Besides that, we got, of course, our sniper rifle. That looks pretty cool. The weathering on it, it's very well done. There are not so much moving parts around here. You got the section there to fill then with that accessory we saw just now. And you got here this lever as well in case you want to use it. For the paint application and the weathering, I think they did a good work. We got then here the smaller sword with good detail here on the handle. The cap as well as a good detail. The sword is actually made of die cast. It's a bit dirty but you can clean it. And it's also a bit heavier but not heavy enough that will cause any issue for your posing the second sword the bigger one i think looks pretty cool again it's made of die cast the handle looks pretty good a bit heavy too but will be just enough for us to use with our dead stroke besides that we got here the display base that flashpoint did it before that has a kind of drawer in the drawer you get uh, four extra ends and you got also the eyes patch for the Nightmare Dead Stroke. You got there the bullet string and you got extra bullets that you need to attach to his shoulder. Taking a look here at our Nightmare Dead Stroke, the first thing you will notice is the heaviness of this figure and how sturdy the body feels. I think Flashpoint did a very good job. Here in the helmet and head sculpt, you can see the eye going out there. The damage they applied on the helmet is really good. The paint application is very clean with a lot of weathering, but with a good quality in the paint application. You can see that a pistol already there. Here in the shoulder is where you need to attach the bullets. All these parts are die cast, but only the chest part is made of hard plastic. The shoulders, the wrist play, uh, parts are made of die cast. But the suit itself looks pretty good and pretty solid. I do like the way they did this. Here these parts are made of die cast, as well the knee pads and here these um, kind of calf cards are made of die cast as well. So the figure is a bit heavy, but the boots are made of plastic and they are double cut boots, though they have very good articulation. I do like a lot this dead stroke because it feels like a heavy figure, but sturdy with a good body. I don't think you will have any issues posing uh, this figure. I think Flashpoint is doing a very good work with his uh, dead stroke after a bit disappointment with their flash version and it stands around 32 centimeters high. Taking a look now at our head sculpt, I think they did a very good job. The hair is kind of rooted but looks good. You can of course adjust it better. I do like the way they did the head. The shaved head looks very nice. The beard also have some detail into it. And about the likeness to Joe Manganiello, I think it's okay. I don't have any issues about it. I like this back part of the hair. Looks good too. I think it's enough of a likeness uh, to use for a dead stroke, since there is no official release. And here in the normal dead stroke, we got as well the same uh, swords made of die cast, so there's no need to go over them. We already saw it just now, but they are both exactly the same. As for our standard dead stroke, I do like a lot this color scheme. You got the bluish, a black, and this dark orange that I think work perfectly. I did have the Hot Toys one before. It's a different take on that stroke that is based on the Arkham game. I do like that color a lot, but I think this one looks very, very good. Again, all the diecast parts are the same. It's basically just a different paint scheme than the Nightmare version. I do think that both versions look really good. This orange here with the blue works really, really well. You do have, again, the same parts in the back to attach the swords. The boots are also double cut. The suit inside feels very good too and the damaged parts here on the braces, they look 
very well done. The weathering that they did and all the scuffs in the suit, I think they work really, really well. I'm very impressed with the way they did this uh, dead stroke. Not going to lie, I think both of them are looking very, very good. Just taking a closer look here at our dead stroke, just with a simple pose, just holding his swords. As I said, the body feels very sturdy and I think this figure looks very imponent. I do like the way they did this dead stroke. Again, the color scheme is very, very nice. The helmet head sculpt looks really cool as well. I already attached the bullets there on the shoulders. They are very difficult to attach because the holes are too small, but you need to take your time to do it. Overall, I think this um, standard dead stroke it will work perfectly if you are doing a Justice League kind of collection. It's a line that, unfortunately, I gave up collecting, so I cannot show you other figures together with this one. But as I said before, the height is around 32 cm, so I think it will scale just fine with other figures from the Justice League. As for our Nightmare Dead Stroke here, you can see already with a rifle, with that attachment, with that bullets there that look very cool, with this sword in the left hand, again with the bullets already installed on his shoulders and I'm using here with the head sculpt. Some people were asking me if the head sculpt sits too high, I push it down as much as possible. You can do some mods for the head sculpt go, go a bit uh, lower. In my opinion and first impressions, I don't think it's necessary. However, I have to say that I do like a lot this suit. This nightmare version of the Deathstroke looks really, really good in my opinion. I know that some collectors are thinking about changing the body for other one, but I think this body works just fine. And I'm sorry for the exposure on this, on this video, because I'm seeing that the head sculpt is too red color, but this is because of the camera. It, you already saw before that the head sculpt doesn't look as red as it looks here. After all, I think that both versions are very cool. I'm using here a Star Wars base for these poses, but if you like that stroke and if you are collecting the Justice League and the, and the Snyder Cut versions, I think these are good options for your collection. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick review and I will see you in the next one.